Hi family, it's your girl, attorney Brunel Donald Che. Welcome to the good news of America. This is always so exciting for me to fill you guys in. I go digging for these stories because um, if you want to listen to the regular news all the time, you'll be depressed, angry, and just think that everybody in the world is evil. And that is not the case. So let's start off with, okay, Americans responded to the COVID-19 pandemic in an extraordinary way by helping relieve the suffering of their neighbors. And in 2020, Americans donated to charities and to just um, uh, individuals. It grew 5.1% from 2019. There were over $471 billion in charitable giving in the United States for year 2020. Amazing. That is good news. On the news, you're going to see us killing each other, choking each other, screaming about racism when real Americans are out here actually being a blessing to one another. Um, and then we'll have, oh, Nate Carroll. Oh, this is a goodie right here. This father of three um, got to 45 years old and was like, you know, I'm not getting any younger. He started doing push-ups. This man now holds the world record in push-ups at 1.5 million push-ups over the course of one single year. Take that, 45. How about that? 45 years old and still doing it like a pro. And he said that he did this hoping to teach his children a lesson in the power of perseverance by offering them an example in real time what it's like to do things at chunks at a time. He didn't do all those push-ups all at once. He made made it throughout his day to do put a certain amount of push-ups in increments throughout the day and he got to that 1.5 million in one year. Bravo, Nate Carroll. A woman gives her husband's ex-wife a kidney. You want to talk about huh? girl power? So, two days after she got married to her husband, Jim, Debbie decided to give his ex-wife her kidney. She actually went in for the surgery for the kidney. Um, the mom of, uh, I guess, uh, his ex-wife had gotten sick and she was going down fast. And his, uh, his new wife said, you know what? No, I'm not going to sit and think about her and want her demise. No, I want her here in the land of the living to enjoy the family. And so we thank this wonderful wife for what she did. Debbie, you are a, a true trooper. The Lord is smiling on you today. We're also going to talk about Graham Nesbitt, who managed a local skating rink in um, Seafort, Ontario. And he routinely went above and beyond the call of duty, opening the rink early, staying late. And even in the face of snowstorms, he made sure the kids could get in as many hours as they could. Well, guess what? Nesbitt, uh, it was learned that he was diagnosed with Berger's disease nine years ago, which is a progressive kidney condition that lessens the kidney's ability to filter blood. So by 2019, the medication keeping his illness under check was no longer working. A kidney transplant became 65-year-old Graham Nesbitt's only option. Now, this is the wonderful great thing about this story. Bonnie O'Reilly, her two sons, Ryan and Cal, who skated under Nesbitt's watchful eye for many years, both went on to the National Hockey League. Well, guess what? Bonnie was a match for Nesbitt's kidney. And what did she do? She underwent that surgery and donated her kidney to Graham Nesbitt. Graham Nesbitt's wife was so deeply touched by the generosity, she posted it on Facebook and thanked Miss Bonnie for her gracious, gracious gift um, to their family. Wow, America, America, Canada, all over the world, God is so good. Now let's talk about, I had to throw that one in there. I know Ontario, but come on, let me have it. Now also something, oh, this was just so beautiful to read. As incarceration rates fall in the United States, prisons are being repurposed. Guess what are they being re repurposed into? Homeless shelters and farms and even movie studios. Glory be to God. So happy to hear this. 
Oh, the next story is um, 65-year-old Tywana Williams graduated from high school. She was the valedictorian of her high school class. I would hope so at 65. You better go, girl. Um, of her Philadelphia South High School. Um, she was among the students who got their degrees through the city's educational options program that enables adults to earn their high school diploma. Yay. I'm so happy. Congratulations to Miss Williams. Now, the next story we're going to go on to is Verda Tete. Verda Tete is originally from Ghana, West Africa, but she came to the United States when she was eight years old. Well, guess what? Miss Tete got so many scholarships, including a $40,000 scholarship she earned. She decided, I don't need this $40,000 scholarship. I've got all these other scholarships. I want to donate my scholarship to a student attending community college. Now, where did Miss Tete, she's going to, uh, she's a senior headed to Harvard University pre-med, okay? Hello? Now, where does she get this desire to give this money to a uh, community college? person her mom went back to school went to a community college um and and that inspired um miss tete to 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 help somebody like her mother was helped and so miss tete plans on majoring in chemistry um at harvard and um intends on continuing to be excellent congratulations miss tete May the Lord bless you in all your endeavors and may he bless your gift to someone else, that $40,000 scholarship. May it may it be bless the person that it's supposed to go to in Jesus' name. I'm, we're next up. Oh, teacher. Oh, this one right here, honey. This just, ah, oh, just the bomb. This uh, last story I'm going to talk about on the good news of America is a teacher, a veteran 35-year teacher by the name of Barbara Hain. Now, what is it that's so interesting about Barbara Hain? Let me tell you what Barbara does. She works a full school day, five days of the week, and she takes, after that full day she has worked, she's exhausted, she's tired, she takes 20-minute drive, 20-minute drive across town to her second grader by the name of Harrison Connor who is fighting for his life against the deadly disease leukemia. He's fighting for his life. And she goes there and she teaches him the lessons of the day. And she does that because she said she wants to keep his spirits up and his learning on track through the uh, treatment that he has for leukemia. There are so many great things happening in the world. There are so many great things happening in America. Don't let anybody tell you that America is not beautiful, that America is, does not have kindness. It's a lie. There's so much good going on in the country. Thank you so much for joining me today for the good news of America. God bless you. God bless your family. And God bless America. Bye for now.